Hello guys, welcome again. In this video, we are going to learn the use of timer in Go language. Timer means a situation where we set some time to fire some statement. So timer means only once the statement will execute and the statement will execute after expiring of the time that we have set. So we just understand with the example that we have a package, we have a function main and here I can set time like say timer1 and I say time dot new timer and I set here time of 2 second like this one. So and I write one information like print F and I say before timer start okay now I just wait for timer like this and now I run one more statement and I say after two second timer expire okay I save it and I run it and you see I have before timer start and after two second I have a statement after two second timer expire so this condition wait for two second and then execute this line Similarly, I can use one go routine here and here I just create one more timer second and I say time dot new timer and here I just pass only one second of time and that timer I am executing here inside this function timer 2 dot c and now I just execute one line here that inside function timer 2 expire so when timer 2 will expire this line will execute and before this I do one more thing I just stop this one and I say timer dot stop timer two dot stop like this and I say if stop then print this statement that timer stopped before expire okay I just run it again and you see the output you see before timer start then after two second timer expire timer is stop before expire you see timer is stop before expire so this line does not execute because we set the time one and after time one if this statement execute so already we have stopped the execution that's why this line will execute but if I put some time here also I say sleep for three second time dot second like this and I just save and run you see the output will different after two second timer expire inside function timer to expire so this is also running because this here we are waiting for three second so two plus one so three second and then we are stopping but if we stop before executing this so we can go in the condition where we have a stop 
that means we learn from this example that we can set timer and that timer will wait the time to be complete and then the execution start but if we put this in a go routines and parallelly it execute so before executing this before reaching to this time because two then one this statement execute so any time we can stop the timer if we do not want to execute the timer's condition after certain time so like this way we can stop the timer also so we are executing this line so in this example we understand that we can set the timer and we can stop the timer and this timer is wait for the condition to be true and then after waiting the certain period of time the next statement execute and remember that timer execute only once that's all in this video thank you for watching my video